Uh, flour, a substance generally used to make many different foods, uh, cereal flour is the main ingredient of bread, which is a staple food for most cultures. However, the price of this commodity is said to have gone up 5.3% here in Nigeria as the 52 kg bag recently introduced by the producers has been discontinued. Now let's talk more about this with um, Desola Simoni, research analyst with Financial Derivatives Company, joining us from New York City. Hello, Desola. Uh, good morning. Hi, Chimese. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, the retail price of flour has increased from uh, 9,500 to 10,000. That's this week alone. Is this likely to affect the food basket and inflation significantly in April? Um, first and foremost, I'll start by saying that um, not all price increases are inflationary. For a price increase to become inflationary, it has to be persistent and consistent. Now, we know that uh, the way inflation is computed is used by, is computed using a um, consumer price index, which is an average of goods and services over time. However, this average is not um, an arithmetic average. It's a weighted average. So the, 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 whether or not um, the increase in the flour, the price of flour would fit into inflation also depends on the weight of of, of, of flour in the, in the food basket. So if, if flour has a high weight, then we might begin to see, and if flour has a high weight, and if this price increase becomes persistent, then we might begin to see it feed into inflation. Otherwise, we would not see any, we would not see it feed into inflation. Now, recently, Olam, um, FMN, and um, Dangote uh, introduced the 52 kg bag and have now discontinued it. Many consider this as a price discounting mechanism. What do you think um, will be the impact of this development? Oh, so um, like you rightly said, that it's essentially a price discount, like because the, the, 50, the 52 kg bag of rice is selling at the nominal price of, of 50 kg. And for, for me, I think that that is a, that's, that is a, that is um what's it called now it's a it's like it as essentially a price war in the sense that no no rational thinking um economic agents would, would want to buy um a 50, 50 we seem to have lost uh the there i guess the seller is back okay go ahead you were trying to explain what happens with the 52 kg bag eventually Okay, like I was saying, like actually um, a price discount mechanism. Like, the, the no no rational thinking economic agents would buy um, a 50 kg bag of rice, a 50 kg bag of flour for for say 10,000 naira when they know they can get 52 kg for the same price. So I think that the aim was to like start a price war, and this can start a price war within within the the oligarchy of. Um, of flour producers in Nigeria, and this might begin to cascade to to other prices. So I think that was just a mechanism to to, to try to like bring the prices of flour down in the in the market. Now the planting season is here again, and rainfall has been you know has started. What should we expect in the next harvest season? Um, typically during during um, harvest seasons, we see prices go down because of the the abundance of supply of of these goods. So now that we are having um, sparse rainfall, and if this sparse rainfall continues throughout the planting season, then we might begin. They might this might um, dampen the harvest. So we might begin to have some um, shortages of, of of goods, and this might also feed into the general price level. So we might see if if this past rainfall continues and uh, it, it affects the harvest, then we might begin to see um, the inflation trajectory reverse in the near term. All right, thank you very much uh, for your time, Desola.